over the last few years, as we have seen uh, the LGBT uh, community and others uh, push um, LGBT uh, more into the mainstream, into parts of life like in school education and other things. Um, we have seen people show um, these things in positive light and um, it's being uh, almost in your face all the time. Um, almost like um, they're trying to get you to like something. If, it's just, if someone likes something, then that's up to them to like it. For you to force it is what many people don't like about it. And also particularly forcing it to children as they go four, five, six, telling them when there's no need to tell them about certain things. Um, and now, and one thing that we noticed is um, certain people who do wrong things or suggest wrong ideas, for some reason, they, a lot of them are from this community. Of course, there's people from outside that community that also do wrong things. We're not saying it's just them. But things like dressing in inappropriately in front of kids and dancing and whatever else. Um, and some people saying that um, if they feel like a 13-year-old or whatever, it's fine. Um, they can be with a 13-year-old and they, they might be 40, 50, or whatever age and other things we've been seeing. It's because the, if from people from these communities saying it, if you say anything, then people are going to say you're transphobic or, or um, homophobic or whatever. Um, but they don't find if anybody else said it, it'd be outraged. And now we have news, um, concerning news. Um, Surrey Pride founder who promoted gender questioning to, in toddlers faces 35 child sex abuse charges, um, including rape and voyeurism. Um, so apparently this is what he's facing charges. I don't know if he's been found guilty or not. The director of Pride in, in Surrey is accused of raping a child, multiple sexual assaults, uh, voyeurism, producing indecent images of minors and conspiring to abduct a child. Uh, and we don't know if that's all these things are true, but it's very serious things that are put against this individual. And the first part is when this individual who promoted gender questioning in toddlers toddlers or toddlers you, you let them um, do things on their own um, why do you need to bring this stuff into them if a toddler comes out and then says they're one they're, they're born as one gender and they feel like on their own that's one thing why if you're telling them then they're going to question themselves why are you so desperate to get People is against toddlers questioning, <coughs> questioning um, what kind of gender they are and things like this. And it shows you, for some reason, a lot of people from this type of community doing things like this are the ones that charge with things like this. And it tells you that there needs to be a serious look into why anyone would want to get toddlers and young children questioning their gender and other similar things and teaching five-year-old, six-year-old things in school that they don't need to know about and other things. And like I've said previously in other videos, if you want to be a certain way, be a certain way. Um, don't force it on other people. And because people don't want it to be forced upon them, doesn't mean they're against you. They just don't want you to force it onto them or onto their kids. Um, and... It seems like you're, you're having a lot of these people, they have to force onto people. But if it was so, um, let's say, the choice of the thing and people liked it in a certain way, then you need to beg people and force people. They just naturally gravitate towards it. But now you have to have questioning, get toddlers questioning their gender. Why? Because if you don't get them, questioning their gender, then not, most likely they will not be questioning their gender ever. But you have to put it into their mind because that's the only way you're going to get them to question their gender. This is something that's not being spoken right now. This is not me being transphobic or um, homophobic or any of these terms that they use. If a four-year-old toddler, three-year-old or whatever age a toddler is, let's even go with four-year-old. You got them in school, nursery, what is the need for you to get them questioning their gender?
this is this is how these people they it's all I was innocent we're spreading this and spreading that we're spreading love and happiness and tolerance and acceptance okay but what need is for you to make a child question their gender if they're coming to you and saying that they are questioning it that's one thing but you want to you yourself get them questioning it what is the reason behind that and if you ask them this question they won't be able to answer answer it properly but if they answer it properly and sincerely they will they themselves will get cancelled because there is no need to do something like this and it shows you that someone who was apparently getting toddlers to question their gender is with these serious charges and of course we don't know if these charges are true or not there haven't been any um um the investigation or whatever else hasn't con- concluded so i'm not going to say this is what this individual has done but these are the charges against such an individual and at the same time you have these charges allegedly we also have this individual apparently questioning or getting told us to question the gender so this is this is something that people need to be more more careful about doesn't matter what community you from if someone who wasn't part of that community also did that i'd be just as outraged but they wouldn't be doing that because most people don't do that they don't get people questioning their gender it's only now when people have allowed it to happen that people are doing things like this like what good what benefit does anybody get from getting a, from getting a toddler to question their gender there is no benefit as far as i can tell whatsoever if they themselves are questioning it then you can say whatever you want to say but there must be some reason that you're not going to say to the public why anybody would want to themselves get a toddler to question their gender so hopefully this should be have an update on this investigation to find out what's happened um if all these charges are um true or if they're not and things like this um because it is concerning so if it's not true then that's fine it's not true i'll make a follow up video no problem but if it is true then what those certain things to be happen also so hopefully there is a um urgent investigation because with such serious serious um things against you against this individual i think it needs to be investigated as a matter of urgency to find out what what is the truth behind all of this